Factory Talk Optics Studio provides several ways to approach language switching at both design time and runtime. In this video, we will explore one approach, how to configure Factory Talk Optics to provide language switching based on the currently logged in user. Runtime language switching allows users in different locales to use the same Factory Talk Optics project because the user interface displays in the language, time date format, and measurement system of the logged in user. Let's start our examination of language switching by examining the heart of the feature located under the translations folder. In project view, expand translations and double click the localization dictionary to open the localization editor. Use the localization editor to translate strings for multilingual projects. These strings generally appear on alarm messages or localized text variables. Translation allows users in different locales to use Factory Talk Optics Studio projects because the project displays at runtime in the configured language of the user. Use a localization dictionary to translate text strings shown in messages and on labels for objects like buttons in the user interface at runtime. On the translation table, we can see that the project is configured for English, Italian, and Chinese. Clicking on the Add Locale button allows additional locale languages to be added to the localization dictionary, so you can change the language displayed for a project at runtime. Note that the key column provides a unique identifier for each row of translated text. Let's examine how the key works in more detail by clicking the View Translation References link to navigate to the Translation Reference table. Notice that the View Translation References screen shows a synchronized checkbox for every string in the project, along with a path to where the object containing the string is located. If the checkbox is checked, a key is created with the same name as the string. Returning to the Translation table, we can see that the keys are assigned and strings will now be available for translation. Using the key allows Factory Talk Optics to optimize language translations by preventing the need for duplicate translations or for translating text that does not require translation. The Translation Importer and Exporter C Sharp script, provided in the Factory Talk Optics Studio Scripts library, is a design time script that imports or exports translations to and from a CSV file. The script allows for bulk translation of strings outside of Factory Talk Optics Studio. With Import and Export Translations selected, the Properties panel CSV Path field allows you to browse to and select the desired CSV file. The Localization Dictionary property allows you to select a dictionary to be used for import-export operations. When no localization dictionary is assigned, the first dictionary found in the project is used. Right-clicking the Import and Export Translations, c -sharp script allows you to see the two options of Execute Export Translations and Execute Import Translations. Now that you have learned the basics of language translation in Factory Talk Optics, it is time to see how individual users can be configured for their default language as well as a default system of measurement. In Project View, expand the Users folder. You can see that the project has been configured with three users. Mike is located in the United States. Stefano is located in Italy and Kai is located in China. We want to ensure that this single application can be used in each of the three countries and provide the users with their native language and measurement system without the need to create three projects. The user locale is personal data that specifies the session locale at runtime. Set the user locale in the locale IDs field. The measurement system field allows the configuration of specific measurement units for each user. The Manage Users and Groups wizard is one of the design time wizards available within Factory Talk Optics. The wizard facilitates easier configuration of projects including the management of users and groups. Groups identify a set of users and are useful for classifying users who have common characteristics and responsibilities. This classification is typically for the purpose of creating security profiles 
or for showing or hiding graphic objects in a runtime project. Now let's run the emulator to see the results of the configuration. We will start by navigating to the Locales tab. Let's explore how the configured factory talk optics language switching options come together to influence how the panels and data will be displayed for each user once they log into the running project. On the user login tab, we can log in as Mike, Stefano, and Kai. Note that the login screen has been configured to show information about the logged in user's credentials and permissions. Let's take the time to log in as each user. Navigating to the Localization tab, we can see how the screen is updated to display both language and measurement settings assigned to the individual user. All of this flexibility occurs within a single version of the runtime project. Let's take a quick look at the User Editor tab. This panel was created using some of the widgets included in the Factory Talk Optics library, such as the User Editor. With widgets, you can quickly create a panel to edit users at runtime. Thank you for watching.